Welcome, bienvenidos. We are doing another clothing haul today, except today we have a sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Princess Polly. I've worked with them before. I showed you guys their stuff before and I do really like it. So I'm doing another haul with them. Shout out to them for sponsoring yet another one of my videos. Before I get into it, if you are interested in any of the items that I'm showing in today's video, I do have a discount code with them. It's Marie j20 and it gets you 20 percent off of your purchase i'll also put it right here so you guys can go ahead and screenshot do what you gotta do and i'll put it down below in the description box as well along with links to any of the items that are still in stock on their website without further ado let's go ahead and get started for the first outfit i have i would have loved if these were separate because i would have got in the top in a larger size just because of how i like it to fit it does fit fine this is a us size 6 everything that i got is a us size 6. i like my tops usually to be really flowy especially on the sleeves specifically tops like this one but it's still for the set it's still super cute i'm looking this way because my mirror is over here i should have moved it over there but because it's a set you don't even have to think about it when you are getting yourself dressed and stuff you have an entire outfit already right here ready to go it's comfortable it's not super thick which is good for summertime because you don't want to be suffocating in a super thick thick type of shirt you know but i wish i could have music on while i was doing these hauls if youtube wouldn't copyright everything this top i am in love with and i can finally wear tops like this i'm so excited uh, i mean of course i was able to wear them before but now i feel like i've got something to work with okay so this top right here is so pretty it's like this floral very light pink it has hints of green in there too let's get a little close-up so you can see the pattern perfectly right there it has green it's very the type of pink that it is i'm obsessed with it's not like a super vibrant pink or anything like that i picture myself wearing this top to a brunch or to like a baby shower or something along those lines it's something very feminine you know that's kind of what i get when i see this shirt and i'm not wearing a bra with this one i am wearing nipple covers but i probably wouldn't be able to wear a bra just because of the knot in the front it's and this is very you have a little bit of fabric to work with here so you're gonna be able to see a bra unless you have one that's very thin here then you can maybe safety pin this together and then you can wear a bra if you want to you can even probably wear it off shoulder it has these little this little scrunch there so you can oh yeah for sure next top i have right here is this one it's also a tie front top it has these little tassels and it has like this little these little metal bells at the end but this top is very pretty it's like a mint green something a color that i i feel like i don't have a lot of but i want to get more of and this one you can also kind of wear it a little bit off the shoulder just like that i picked myself wearing this top with a very flowy white skirt i don't know why i think it's because of the little ruffles that are right here and then like a skirt that's like nice and flowy this top is not your average plain white crop top this one is really nice i like that it has a it's a little bit ribbed too you can kind of see the nipple covers a little bit just keep that in mind it's nice and ribbed right and it does go pretty low so wearing a bra with this one might be tricky just because of the sides like you can see there's a lot like it would show but i like that it's not just a simple white crop and i've kind of been looking for a crop top like this that's a little bit more a muscle tank kind of top and then pairing it with a pair of jeans and then some jewelry just for an everyday outfit and then or you can even wear this kind of top with sweatpants to like run errands this kind of style right here i feel like is really in right now keeping it simple but elevating it with jewelry and wearing a pair of jeans next i have this white top i've been wanting a similar top to this one too i've kind of seen it on a lot of different boutiques and i finally got my hands on one so it looks simple from the front then when you turn around it's almost backless but it has this right here so you can tie it and then it still has like a little bit of fabric on the back too so in the front like i said you're like nice and covered up it looks like a simple basic cute little crop top but then when you turn around like you know you're showing a little bit of skin in the back and then with a pair of jeans i think it's like the perfect 
cute top and jeans kind of outfit again for if you're gonna be going out like bar hopping or something of course when we are safer to do so cute it's simple but i think you can really dress the, this kind of top up and you can wear it in a lot of different ways this top is probably another one of my faves just because i really like tops like this i there's one of my favorites and i also love the fact that it's white of course because i love wearing lots of whites but it's this it is a crop by the way it's not a bodysuit which i really really like it's just like this roughly sleeved short sleeve and it also has ruffles right here and it's almost like a corset style top as you can see when i lift right here it has buttons and it's more of a corset style and then you can button it up right here i mean you can tie a knot in the front if you want to this top i'm gonna have to build the courage to wear out because i mentioned i feel like i mentioned this in like all of my clothing hauls but i don't know what it is i'm not fully comfortable yet wearing cropped tops just as of lately i've really been trying to get out of my box and getting more crop tops and things especially for the summertime like why the heck not but i don't know i've always just been like that my mom's always like sabrina why why are you like this but i i don't know what it is anyway so this top is cute the reason i'm saying i'm gonna have to get courageous with this one is because of the fact that it's cropped and then it's a little bit like i mean it's a cropped it's a crop top it's it's a very bomb cute crop top i think i would wear this for a night out for sure especially because it's black and you can really dress this top up this is a bodysuit it's not a cropped top it's not like a regular top it does button at the bottom though so i am grateful for that because it's going to be easier when you have to go to the bathroom when you're in a rush etc but yeah this is a bodysuit and you can't see the detail much because it's a little bright yeah it has like these little ruffles on the boob part which makes it like five ten a hundred times more flattering for some reason it just it elevates the top it's not just a simple top you know the material on this the, the thing with this one is it's thicker right here which is good because it's like nice and snatched and i think it's yeah it's double lined i'm like feeling for it it's double lined so it has double fabric and then right here on the top on camera it looks like it's a little bit more sheer it also has that double double line and it has the ruffle so you, if you don't want to you don't have to wear a bra with this one. You, you don't have to worry about being able to see through it like whatsoever pretty much. This top, like for me, when I'm out and about and I just want a quick outfit, I would throw this on with some biker shorts, a loose flannel top or something, and then that's it. I don't even have to wear a bra with it. It's perfect. My battery died, so I kind of had to adjust, adjust here. Give me one sec. Okay, so this next item, I'm not gonna wear it anytime soon because it is hot but around these months i like to get sweaters and things like that that i feel like are going to be out of stock when we get closer to it actually being cold here in la because i mean let's be honest it doesn't get that cold but yeah this item of course i wouldn't wear right now because it's way too hot but it's so cute i felt like if i didn't get it now i was like when am i gonna get this so it's this really fluffy i'm wearing the same top i was wearing before this really fluffy white sweater so different than anything i have in my closet so it's like a sweater cardigan kind of thing but this i already can picture myself in the winter here in la in the colder months when it does you know get a little chilly at night stuff like that like leggings super relaxed here at home on the couch drinking some coffee or if i'm gonna run to the grocery store just throw this on over my gray jumpsuit that i've been lounging in all day like that's the kind of that's what i'm getting from this sweater right here i think it's so nice though why am i girl i look tan i'm not mad at it but my camera is doing something right now okay that's a little better but yeah i really like this sweater and it can feel like there's a lot like there's a lot of strings it's a lot of a lot of you know yarn and things happening but it's low-key a vibe even going to some type of event where you wear a casual outfit like this just 
a white bodysuit, some necklaces, some jeans, and then you throw this on, take some pics. Okay, enough of the tops. Let's get into dresses, and I think I have like a romper in here too, and I have a swimsuit. I wore a dress very similar to this one on Cinco de Mayo. It was white though, and it has long sleeves, and the back is crisscrossed, kind of like this is right here, and I got so many questions about where that dress was from. So it was from Princess Polly. This one is very similar to that one, except the crisscross is on the side. It's black and it has like a short sleeve. It's not a long sleeve dress. Perfect for the summertime. I feel like I can breathe. I was afraid this dress was gonna be too short when I saw it on the website, but it's not from the back. Like you can see, <laughs> there you go. For the back, you can see like how short it is. It's a very flowy dress, effortless, breathable. I have lots of dresses like this in my closet because of the simple fact that they are very easy to style. You don't even have to think about it again. And I feel like that's kind of my style, an outfit that looks like you didn't try much and you really didn't, but it looks really put together. That's this dress right here. I feel like I picked some good stuff. This is another full dress that I just I'm telling you guys the floral it's similar to this top that I showed in the beginning it's not the same pattern at all this one is different but it's the same in the sense that it kind of the pattern gives you an overall more dusty pink look it's a very understated yet yeah, very feminine girly dress nude undergarments with this one would probably be a must just depending on you but for me in my opinion i would wear nude undergarments or you can even wear like shorts if you want to just be a little bit more on the safe side it's totally up to you and then this one you can wear just like how i'm wearing it right here on the shoulder or you can even bring it down if you wanted to wear it off the shoulder too. So you can wear it two different ways. And this is definitely like a brunch dress for me. One more floral number. This is a black floral dress. You can see it's more of a halter top. You could adjust it to however tight or loose you want it. And this is more of a mini, but it's also, when I first put it on, I was like, whoa, this is gonna be short. But it's, it's actually not that short considering the fact that it has ruffles on the bottom. Let me back up. Right here, you can pull it and then it adds a scrunch to the middle part of the dress. And you can see the dress is a little bit on the shorter side. And then when you turn, like it is a little bit shorter here too. But it's not short to where I feel like I have to be extremely, extremely careful or anything. So the print, I would say, kind of has like daisies on it, like little flowers. And the good thing about this one is if you need a little bit more support up here, then you can definitely wear a bra, a full bra, like full strapless bra with this one. And you don't have to worry about like, okay, how am I going to have support here? This one you can definitely, because the back isn't low or anything. And then right here, it's not too cinched. You could wear a bra. I mentioned earlier how I'm really into this type of green. So this this top reminds me of a mermaid top the material is more of like a silk which is really pretty and then of course it has the ruffles on the top as well very flattering it has a very thin strap which i typically like and then the dress is also more of a mini dress and this one's a tiny bit just the slightest bit tighter than the previous black print that i showed you guys and it doesn't have ruffles on the bottom so you might have to be a little bit more careful when bending down with this one. This one is another fave from this haul and I get very chic vibes with this one, like sunglasses, my hair just like this, throw it on with some sandals. This is a romper, it does button up right here. It's black, simple, but it does have pockets too. Pockets and a lot of lint that I forgot to take off, but it does have pockets on the back of it and this is a shopping like i'm gonna go shopping this is that kind of outfit for me and i like that it has the buttons these are buttons that you can unbutton they're not just you know sewn on there i want to say this is a little more of like a linen would you call this linen see the fabric is linen but not really you know that kind this is another prime example of throwing on a romper or a dress something along those lines and you don't even have to think about your outfits already done for you with this material 
I just have to say this because I bought I bought something very similar to this from there too. Um, with this material, do not throw it in the dryer if you do put it on like super, super low, but I would highly recommend to air dry something like this just because it can shrink. So just don't say I didn't warn you, okay? You're learning from me because I'm the type that throws everything in the dryer and I bought something like this very similar and it shrunk, of course, so just saying. And this one right here is because you can never have too many black one piece swimsuits if you watch my last haul then you know but this one is kind of similar like it has low it's low right here and then it's also high up which again i love looking for in one piece bodysuits i mean one piece swimsuits because i find that they're more flattering on of my body type i try to not go for one piece swimsuits that are like too square too like too much fabric because i i still want to feel like i'm wearing a swimsuit even if it's not a little tiny two piece i like to have both i like two pieces i like you know one piece swimsuits like this when i want to be a little bit more covered up this one when i was looking on their website did look like it was running low in some sizes and out of stock in some so hopefully hopefully it's still on there but their their stuff does really tend to sell out pretty fast but this one's nice because it is this one is i'm trying to feel it's a double line yeah it has double fabric and it is thick so it's not like super see-through i could stick to this size as a size six or i could have even gone down to a size four if i wanted it to be a little bit more tight like right here but besides that i think it fits very well i'm not gonna turn around because it's a little cheeky but it's not a thong or anything but it is like mid cheek so just like in case you're wondering how the back looks i'll kind of show you like a little bit low back oh i love that i love that and lastly i have two pieces of jewelry from there too that i'm going to show you you guys know me i love jewelry we have these hoops here these are a gold color and then let me take it off so you can see the style of it it's almost it's almost like a braided there you go so it's like this braided up earring and it's pretty thin which i like it's not super heavy it doesn't irritate my ear at all either love that and let me show you one more i haven't wore cuffed earrings in a while but this one is a cuff back up y'all the lighting today i was just talking about this on my instagram story the lighting in my video today is not cooperating with me i don't know what's happening the camera gods are telling me that i need to get a new camera or something i don't know my ears a little red because i was trying to put it on but I have this one, which is a cuff earring. You just put it on here. Obviously, I don't have an ear piercing up here, but it kind of looks like I do, and then it just hangs low. And then there's this tiny cuff, too. It comes in a set of two that you can kind of wear up there, and then you can layer it with other jewelry, too. Like, I have two ear piercings, so I can wear two here. And then this one on top and then this one on this side just to give my ears like a customized earring look i know that's also very trendy right now to have like different types of earrings on both sides so i can kind of add these to my collection hopefully you enjoyed this video enjoyed trying on some clothes with me and seeing what i recently added to my closet again a huge shout out to princess polly for sponsoring today's video once again, my code is MarieJ20 in case any of you are interested in buying anything that I showed in this video or anything on their website, really, you can use my code. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Let's get on with you and I'll see you all in my next video.